Hey guys, Addison Rouse, head baseball coach at Salem University here with Figure It Out Baseball. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, bunting and going to demonstrate you know, our, our mechanics and how we bunt here at Salem. You know, we, we were top 25 last year in the nation and, and runs scored as well as, as home runs at the Division II level. So we obviously believe in juice, we believe in extra base hits, but at the end of the day, um, the objective of baseball is to score runs and, and to score more runs than your opponent. And sometimes you have to give up out, or you have to manufacture runs in order to do this. If you have more runs at the end of the game than your opponent, you win. And that's how that's how our program has been so successful. Is we can not only um, steal bases and hit home runs and, and extra base hit you to death, but we can also score a run there, or score a run here, in, in order to beat you. And we're going to be doing by that by handling the bat, moving the baseball, um, and being a really good bunting ball club. So uh, it is not a lost art. We practice it every single day. We use bunting in our um, daily practice plans. It's at our BP, uh, one of our BP stations. We do it during individuals. Um, it is, it is utilized and practiced every single day we grab a bat. So as much as we love home runs, there's going to be a point in time where you're going to have to push, drag, or a sack in order to win you a ball game. We're going to walk you through that today. Our last bunt is our push bunt. This is an awesome weapon. Uh, our push bunt scenarios, guys, are going to be when we have a runner being held at first base. Okay, got a guy at first base. Where, with less than two outs, is our second baseman going to be? Our second baseman is going to be in double play position. Where is our first, ba first baseman going to be? That guy is holding that runner on. So what's wide open? The four hole is wide open. It is a free base hit if you can push bunt well. This is a very difficult bunt. It is not easy. You want to bunt a pitch that is typically up in the zone and out over the plate so there's not much gap there for flexibility. But if they throw it in that spot and you can handle the bat, and you can push it past the pitcher and to the four hole, you're in business for a base hit. And like I said, push it, we want it to be to the second baseman. I want you to envision the second baseman being in standard position. You want it past the pitcher, you want it off the line, and you want to literally butt it where he would stand if he was in normal position. That guy's holding him on, that first baseman's holding the runner, that space is wide open for you to get a free base hit. Noah's gonna walk us through that. Noah, show us your footwork first, okay? So you see how Noah, one, right there, he cheats up in the box again, okay? His feet are a little bit closer together. He's in a more upright stance because he wants a baseball up in the zone. Again, hands are positioned great, okay? He is in a really, really good and strong position with his hands. There's some flexibility in his arms. He's still butting in his legs, but like I said, he is standing a little bit more upright because he's wanting a pitch up in the zone, and he's in a position to where when he butts this baseball, no, walk through it real quick, just walk through one. Not a pitch. You see how he's already ready to push forward. Okay, push forward now and act like you're bunting right now. Okay, you see how his, his body is going to take that barrel forward where he's going to make contact. He's not jabbing at the baseball. He's not slapping at the baseball. He is pushing forward with his hands and his legs in order to create momentum to square that baseball up and push it past the pitcher. Now let's give us a couple push bunts. Beautiful. Great bunt, Noah. It's a base hit. Beautiful. That one's a little close to the pitcher there. He's going to try to work a little bit more to his right in the four hole. That's a base hit every time right there. Great job, Noah. One of our teaching points we're talking about is, is we preset the angle. So we do not set our angle late. We preset. Noah, show him a sack angle, okay? Before that pitch is thrown, his barrel is placed exactly where he wants that baseball to go. Now, Noah, sack the first, okay? Barrel's positioned in a great place. He's using his bottom hand to direct that. Now a drag bunt, Noah. Okay, setting his angle down the third baseline. Okay, now a push bunt. And now he's, his, his bat is angled toward that four hole. So those angles are predetermined before that pitch is thrown. Obviously the drag and the push is for a hit. You're gonna show late, but the angle will be set before that pitch is thrown and delivered. So you're ready to put that ball where you want it to go rather than jab at it late. That is a huge component and a, a key teaching point here in bunting. Okay, that is all for bunting. We, we have gone over our sack bunts, our drag bunts, and our push bunts. Okay, I'm Addison Rouse with Salem University and Figured Out Baseball.